So today's um, example is a Vickers Supermarine Walrus, a Mark I, it's a World War II aircraft. Uh, it's got markings from uh, Operation Torch, which is a North African campaign during 1942. Uh, the Walrus was a British amphibious spy plane used by the Allied forces during World War II. It was mainly used in reconnaissance and rescue roles. Um, so we'll get this bad boy open and have a look at this bit of kit. It comes in a nice presentable box. Flip open, it's got um, information about the operation of the aircraft and where it was made. And so take the foam off. It's got a little bit of information here. Okay, so it obviously comes with a nice stand and everything like that. So it's got the details on that. And we'll see if we can get this get this bad boy out. And here we go. Okay, so yeah, it's very very decent, decent made, very presentable. So uh, the aircraft bears US markings, and that's due to the the British. It was a Operation Torch was a combined operation between US and English forces, uh, but uh, the English marked their most a lot of their aircraft uh, with US markings due to the English sinking the French warships when France fell to Germany. Um, so they figured it'd be more acceptable to Vichy France forces when. Um, hoping that they would surrender rather than fight fight the forces if they were American rather than having British markings. So um, you had a lot of aircraft that bore US markings that were British aircraft. You also had a lot of British naval ships that actually flew US flags and uh, a lot of uh, ground troops, personnel, English personnel also wore US uniforms instead of British uniforms. So, But it's not a history lesson here. Um, this aircraft's you know, quite presentably made. It's uh, the, the paint markings, everything really nice. Um, pylons and everything, all the struts, the wire. That's really well detailed. Um, has no crew. It has all machine gun ports and everything like that. It's very, very. Oh, it's not a, not a not a bad not a bad model at all. So quite quite presentable. Um, it comes with. Uh, I display mine with wheels down most of the time, so obviously this is one of the first aircraft, amphibious aircraft, that had wheeled options as well, I think. Um, so it comes with little bits and pieces, so if uh, you wanted to assemble wheels down, I suppose, so main strut forward, it's got the locator holes there, pretty, pretty easy to put in. Um, obviously, it just popped out pretty pretty easy there but if you put the put in the hole and um, this well this one actually this one is actually short Go! <laughs> so it's short by a couple of millimeters so will not fit whatsoever um, the other side fit perfectly but this one not so hopefully that's not a um, a common occurrence for Oxford models to have that issue. Hopefully it's only unique to mine, but uh, I guess this will be a uh, wheels up display once I get it on the shelf. So there you have it. Um, can be displayed either way. But this is the Vickers Supermarine Walrus Mark I by Oxford, 172nd scale die cast. And um, I think it's yeah, reasonably good good model. And uh, it cost me $50 Australian, that was including postage straight to my door, so I think it was reasonable price as well. So, uh, yeah. So, thank you for watching, and if you, you know, like the video, and hopefully it helps someone to make future purchase choices as well, give us a like. Alright, cheers. <laughs>